The Moody Blues' Ray Thomas has died. He was 76. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. He died at his home after a battle with prostate cancer. His record company released the following statement. It is with profound sorrow and sadness that Cherry Red Records and Esoteric Recordings regret to announce that Ray Thomas, founding member, flautist, and vocalist for the Moody Blues, passed away suddenly at his home in Surrey on Thursday. We are deeply shocked by his passing and will miss his warmth, humor, and kindness. It was a privilege to have known and worked with him. And our thoughts are with his family, his wife Lee, at this sad time. He had to step away from the Moody Blues a few years ago and in 2014 had to make a public statement about his prognosis. Thomas was with the Moody Blues from the very beginning during the Denny Lane days that was before Justin Hayward and John Lodge helped them carve their sound. Their first album, The Magnificent Moody's, featured the hit Go Now, which was sung by Lane. It would be their only UK number one song. That was 1965. By 1967, they were a different band, totally. They were no longer chasing that mercy beat sound of the British invasion and instead they carved out their own brand of orchestral rock with an early helping of prog rock. Their second album, Days of Future Past, changed everything. Their record label actually wanted the band to record a version of Dvorak's Symphony No. 9, but this group had different ideas. Days of Future Past was delicious, spacious, and was an adventure that a lot of rock fans hadn't experienced before. In 2007, Rolling Stone magazine included it on their list of essential albums of 1967. Thomas provided flute and backing vocals on the big hit Nights in White Satin and flute on its follow-up Tuesday afternoon. The group followed that up with a UK number no. 5 album In Search of the Lost Chord in 1968 and their first of three number no. 1 albums on a threshold of a dream. The other two were A Question of Balance in 1970 and Every Good Boy Deserves Favor the following year. The band took a break in the mid-70s and came back in 1977. The Moody Blues had a string of success in the 80s as well with Long Distance Voyager, The Present, and The Other Side of Life. At that point, Thomas's role was diminished as they were going deeper into 80s synth pop. But by 1991, he was playing a big role again with the album Keys of the Kingdom. He retired in 2002. He was always a showman and served as one of the MCs for the band. He also wrote a lot of their songs. He was a very prolific writer. Thomas, as well as the Moody Blues, will be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year. May he rest in peace, a huge role in rock and roll history, and a very nice man. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.